Okay guys, I am making my easy chill stew slash soup recipe. All right, ready to watch what goes into it? Potatoes. Onions. Okay, onions and potatoes. Peppers. Corn. Cauliflower. All right, now I've got some squash I cut up. Squash. All right, next, I'm gonna do some chickpeas. All right, so now we're gonna put some seasonings in there. And I've got rosemary and garlic that I chopped up. Okay. All right, now guys, next I am going to put ground up hamburger. All right, next I'm gonna put is a ground up turkey. That turkey sticks together a little bit more, so I'll have to mix it as it cooks. All right, so here's what I'm gonna show you next. Next, I am going to put water in it. All right, you ready to put the water in it? Water. Steaming, because I had the crock pot preheated. And that's two cups of water right now. Sorry, I actually meant two bottles of water. I am going to stir this up. It will cook down and it will start to make its own juice. So my chill stew changes all the time, depending on the eight ingredients I have left in the house or ingredients that I just want to get rid of and I don't want to go to waste. I make stews and soups. And the chill one that I make here is just whatever I have at the time. So the recipe will vary and will change. All right, now I'm going to put the rest of the ginger I have in there. And the ginger makes it kind of spicy, and I like that almost as if you put salt in it. So I had some water mixed in there just so I could get all the ginger out. Now I'm gonna put some salt. It's a good amount. I like to wait and see later if I need more. I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning. So go ahead and use Italian seasoning if you like it. If you don't, you don't have to do it. And like I said, as it cooks, you'll see whether or not you're going to need more seasonings or if it tastes really, really good. Pepper. All right, so I use a good amount of pepper. And I got my seasonings in. Now I'm going to add something you might not expect. I'm going to add planted oat milk. Plain, no flavor. I do that instead of actual milk to give it um, that's still like you got milk in it but you don't have milk in it, it actually ends up being really good and tastes really great. And you know, of course, it's not gonna go bad. So I feel like this has a longer shelf life. So this is pretty much um, my chill stew this time. I use what I felt I wanted to use it and now it will cook for like two or three hours. And then it will be this like gorgeous deliciousness of chill soup. And I will show you when it's done how it looks. Remember, you can season to whatever your Pacifics are for what you like. Um, if it's not salt enough, you put more salt. If you feel like it needs more seasonings, I end up lots of times once everything's cooked down, I taste it and probably end up seasoning it some more and putting some extra things in it. But believe it or not, making stew and soup is super easy. And this is a way that you don't um, have food waste. You go ahead and make it into stew or soup and you eat it. Your family loves it. And this is what I do in my DIY rural life and I enjoy it. All right, like and subscribe and look forward to part two of of how this chill soup turned out this time. Thank you. Here we go. This is how it looks. It looks delicious. So I just added some more um, fresh garlic. Fresh garlic. I added some more Italian seasoning. 
and I added some more salt and I added some grated cheese okay and here is right there that's how it looks in the bowl super delish and super excited to eat it that is what we made so you see there's a lot of meat in it actually and it turned out really good all right guys so that is my chill stew slash soup recipe each time it's going to vary and change i'll make more videos showing you more but mm, super good just remember to season it the way that you feel is right and you should have an awesome dinner tonight all right like and subscribe bye guys